Hi, I'm Dr. Rain Rouse. I am a physician scientist and pediatric hematologist oncologist at Baylor College of Medicine in Texas Children's. Hi, my name is Lee Poitras. I'm uh, an internal medicine doctor at Baylor College of Medicine and one of the deans in student affairs. Hi, I'm Dr. James McDevitt. I'm executive vice president and dean of clinical affairs at the Baylor College of Medicine, and I am here today to answer your questions about healthcare. So we will get right to it. Why do doctors wear white coats? Well, what a great question. Uh, doctors wear white coats uh, because it is probably the most impractical thing that you could possibly wear practicing medicine. Uh, given that we get dirty uh, and uh, exposed to, to blood and lots of other uh, nastiness, uh, it's, it's actually a very good question. Why would doctors wear uh, white coats? Uh, Why do doctors wear white coats? This is a really important question. It's because we have contests at the end of the day to see who's the cleanest. I typically do not win. Uh, why do doctors have bad handwriting? It all goes back to um, the time before the electronic medical record, when you had to sign everything and write everything out uh, all the time. And you would sign your name probably 100 times a day. And so if you became efficient, your, your handwriting became less leg legible. Uh, this has to do historically when all prescriptions were handwritten, there were... Uh, certain symbols that physicians used to write prescriptions that were decipherable by the pharmacist, but not by anybody else. And I think that was an attempt to prevent forgery prescriptions. It was like a secret code. You know, this is something that is actually taught to us because when I started medical school, I had really good handwriting. And then I realized that it was like, it was like Dr. Clout to have the worst handwriting. So I, I strive to have the worst handwriting, and now I'm right there in the middle, kind of just mediocre. Not the worst, but not the best either. All right, let's see what we got. Why do doctors hit your knee? This is a really good one. So we hit the knee just to see if you're paying attention. When they're tapping on your knee, they're ta tapping on your patella tendon, and your patella tendon uh, triggers something called the monosynaptic reflex arc. It's a neurologic signal that travels up your nerves to your spinal cord and bounces back down again to your muscle, causes your muscle to contract, and it's part of the neurologic examination. But it's also because we want to see if people are pretending to have hyperactive reflexes or not, because people also think it's a competition. Why do doctors flick needles? So when you draw fluid back in a needle, you sometimes get air in there and you don't want to inject air into the venous system. So you flick it with the needle pointing up until the air bubbles go to the top and then you push them out so, they, so that they all go out and then you inject the fluid. And that's why. Why do doctors have cold hands? Doctors have cold hands because they have such incredibly warm hearts. Happy Doctor's Day to all the doctors out there. We have worked so hard, especially the last couple of years, and it's really important for us to celebrate ourselves and for others to celebrate us. So everyone, celebrate your doctor or the doctors in your life today. To all the doctors out there, have a happy and wonderful Doctor's Day. Uh, it's a privilege to be uh, among you and uh, to get to serve alongside you, and uh, thank you for doing what you do. I just want to take this opportunity to stop and wish everybody a very happy Doctor's Day. Thanks for all you do.